Welcome to the RTX64 Runtime Product Overview. In this video, we show you how to access runtime tools and features, how to activate and configure the product, and how you can use the RTX64 control panel to customize the subsystem. We also look at the RTX64 Task Manager and some of the other runtime tools and utilities. RTX64 transforms Windows into a real-time operating system that outperforms real-time hardware such as DSPs and MCUs at reduced development costs. The RTX64 runtime adds a real-time subsystem, RTSS, to Windows that delivers deterministic hard real-time performance. It is deployed on your target system with your real-time application. The RTX64 runtime contains several key features and tools which are accessible from the start menu after the product is installed. All RTX64 related components begin with the prefix RTX64 so they can be easily searched. You can also access key features through the RTX64 system tray, accessible from the Windows system tray. RTX64 system tray provides a visual indication of the current state of the subsystem and provides links to various RTX64 tools from a right-click menu. It also displays important subsystem-related notifications. RTX64 components must be activated with a valid license. You can use the Activation and Configuration utility, which appears immediately after program installation, to activate and lock your product to a specific machine or to an Interval 0 provided dongle. Here the runtime is locked to a dongle, indicated by the dongle icon to the right of the runtime in the list of licensed components. After installation and licensing, you must create an RTSS boot configuration. The RTX64 subsystem requires dedicated processors for real-time processing. The activation and configuration utility automatically detects the total number of processors on your system, along with the number of processors you are licensed to use for RTX64. You can then assign available processors to Windows or RTX64. The RTX64 control panel displays information on installed products and provides a number of settings you can use to configure the behavior of the subsystem, RTSS applications and real-time network, which is comprised of the network abstraction layer and optional RT-TCP-IP stack. Note that some settings in the RTX64 control panel require Windows administrator privileges. The RTX64 control panel has the look and feel of a web page. You can click on icons and or text links to navigate the user interface. Content on the homepage is organized in two distinct columns. On the left side are options for configuring different system behaviors, while the panel on the right side displays product information and licensing and status information for the components you have purchased and installed. You can start and stop the RTSS subsystem and associated components directly from this panel. The RTX64 control panel provides several options for configuring the subsystem. For instance, you can change internal system behavior, manage memory allocation, configure the RTSS watchdog timer and choose a method for handling exceptions. The Manage Memory page allows you to customize default memory allocation behavior for the subsystem. Check the Interval Zero video library for memory-related videos that take a closer look at this functionality. The control panel also provides several options for configuring and controlling the network abstraction layer and optional RTTCPIP stack. You can configure dependencies for starting these components, set each component's ideal processor and manage additional settings such as the stack's timer processor, priority and interval. Note that the RTTCPIP stack is a separate purchasable component. The TCPIP settings require a valid RTTCPIP stack license. You can add, delete and set properties for network interfaces from the Manage Interfaces control panel page. 
By default, the runtime installs an interface for the completely redesigned virtual network called RTTCPIP Virtual NIC, which allows for network communication between Windows and RTSS on the same system with no dedicated hardware. This interface is dependent on the RTTCPIP stack and is disabled when the stack is not licensed. Check the Interval Zero video library for network related videos that take a closer look at this. RTX64 has its own task manager, which allows you to view, start or end any active RTSS process or Windows process linked to RTX64 on your system, whether started by task manager or with the RTSS run command line utility. Windows processes linked to RTX64 are unmanaged processes that make calls to the real-time interface RTAPI or managed processes that use the interval 0.RTX64 interface to communicate with RTSS processes. To start a process, you can either choose a recently run process from the open drop-down or click the Browse button and navigate to the .RTSS file or .exe file you want to run. Through Task Manager, you can schedule tasks to start automatically when the subsystem is started. You can also view CPU usage information for all processors assigned to either Windows or RTX64. Next, we'll take a brief look at some of the other tools installed with the runtime. RTX64 Server launches when an application runs and prints data. It displays and logs print messages from all RTX64 applications and RTDLLs. The Latency View tool displays a visual comparison of latency between Windows and RTX64 cores. SRTM or System Response Time Measurement is the command line version of Latency View for a single processor. There are two supplied versions, one for the Windows environment, srtm.exe, and another for the RTSS environment, srtm.rtss. The RTX64 Objects utility displays information about RTSS processes and their associated objects, such as events, semaphores and loaded RTDLLs. You can run RTX64 objects through a command prompt. Note that the RTX64 objects utility may cause latencies when run. RTX64 Monitor allows you to trace the behavior of your real-time applications by recording significant events that occur during execution of those applications. The events are written to disk, where they are grouped into sessions. Note that monitoring must be enabled through the control panel before you can start a monitoring session. Once you've recorded session data, you can then use the Tracealyzer tool installed with the RTX64 SDK to view and analyze the data. This concludes our overview of the RTX64 runtime. For more information, see the documentation installed with the product and available online. And check out our other product videos available from intervalzero.com and YouTube. Thanks for watching!